Hello guys, this is Sandra here. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. It's lovely to have you here. So today's video is a morning routine slash get ready with me, but don't be fooled. It's not an ordinary morning routine. No, no. I've teamed up with the lovely Christine from Makeup ASMR with Bean to show you what our morning would look like if we went to Hogwarts. So me and Christine sort of bonded over the love of makeup, fall and just anything Harry Potter and witch related. So we decided this would be the perfect collaboration for us. So please go over and check out her channel. If you love beauty and ASMR videos, you will definitely love her channel. But for now, let's just hop into this video and again, go over to Christine's channel. I can promise you, you won't be disappointed. But let's see what my morning would look like. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is 100% accurate. This is how I wake up in the mornings. I just flop back after my alarm, then have a few stretches and then stroke the cat because she's just too cute. And most mornings she wakes me up before the alarm and, you know, goes back to a peaceful sleep after I get up because that's just how cats are and it's really typical of Willow. But she's still cute, so, you know, she still deserves those scratches. To give myself a bit more time in the mornings just to allow myself to wake up, I scroll through Visitgram and my phone in general because, you know, it's good to know what's happening in the world and it's just a peaceful way to start my morning. So that's what I do for about another 10 minutes before I wake up. A few more stretches and I finally decide to get up because it's time so I just get ready to release myself in the cold cold world and what's good about being a witch if I get to even summon my dressing gown I don't know but I put it on it's super soft and warm and of course it's a Gryffindor one because this girl is a proud Gryffindor don't mind my super messy pajamas but I just put it on and it's time to get some morning refreshments Also, would you just look at this cutie? I told you once I'm up she's gonna go back to sleep, but look at that cute little face. She is so, so sweet. Also, she's a loud, loud snorer, but she's too cute and look at those paws as well. Anyway, let's carry on with the morning routine, shall we? I just had to show you this really cute cat because, well, I don't know, who doesn't like pets? Once I made my way downstairs, I'm gonna make the first refreshment of the morning and don't mind my clumsiness. I know I made a mess, but you know, I clearly need to work on my spells when it comes to making coffee. But never mind, it got cleaned up, so I just finish up trying these new spells and that's it, that's the first step of the morning. I just make myself a nice cup of coffee, drink it and you know, after that I can make my way back upstairs to continue getting ready. Also, of course it's a Harry Potter mug, he's a famous Hogwarts alumni, so what else would it be? Who doesn't like a famous wizard? I don't know, I clearly do. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna make my way upstairs and as you can see, I'm a bit slow in the mornings. <laughs> that coffee hasn't just kicked in yet. No, never mind, I'm gonna just uh, jump into the shower and I will see you after that. After that nice refreshing shower and hair wash, I'm back practicing more spells. At this time, it's with a tea and it's in the Magic of Ministry mug, which is a bit well loved, but you know, it's been in the family for a while. So here we go with the tea and I can just take it over to my makeup table while I get ready and I can just sip on it because, I don't know, I quite like the ritual of doing my makeup and sipping on a hot drink. So see you at the table. Alright, so and now we have our lovely hot beverage and 
we're gonna put on the pud's ears because you know even witches and wizards can enjoy some muggle things and I'm gonna start with skincare so usually I start with my under eyes and usually I go in with the Embolese something smoothing eye contour care so this is just a really nice eye cream I put a bit on my finger massage it between my ring fingers and pat it in because you know we need to start the morning with some nice skincare and obviously I washed my face while I was in the shower and I mostly dried my hair by now unfortunately there are no magic tricks for that just yet so a hair dryer had to do and then um, I have a little sample at the moment from the Glam Glow Glow Starter Nude Glow Moisturizer and it's really nice under makeup so I'm gonna use a blob of that again massage and it smells really nice it's a shame it's not cruelty free massage it in the skin and it smells super nice and it gives a nice little glow to the skin to start with a nice healthy complexion important for witches well and muggles I'm sure it's important for all of us yes I'm really gonna go with this theme <laughs> and that's it sometimes I use a toner as well which is from Aveda but I forgot today so we're gonna just you know forget that and we can move on to makeup so I'm gonna start with my Catrice one drop coverage concealer and I'm gonna use my Sigma big precision P89 brush and I'm gonna put a drop of this concealer on the brush since it comes with a nice little dropper like that let's see if it's enough and I'm gonna just prime my eyelids with this it's a fairly dryish concealer so it should work perfectly for this then I'm taking a big fluffy brush this one is from Sigma as well this is the E40 dip it in a nice skin toned eyeshadow and we're gonna set the base Okay, and we're gonna just do a really simple eye look, but since I'm a Gryffindor, I mean, there we go, since I'm a Gryffindor, we're gonna go with Gryffindor colors, even if it's just a nice, fairly neutralish kind of look. So, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush first, I'm gonna use my usual, which is the Blancanvas Cosmetics E42, and I'm gonna dip it in a nice burgundy color. And we're gonna just fluff this in the outer portion of the eye. I'm just gonna bring it over the crease as well, just so everyone can see which house I'm presenting, even with my hoodie dyes. Because you know, it's important. Like so. Okay, now I'm gonna take this slightly more peachy tone than my skin color and I'm gonna just brighten the whole lid with it. I'm going to take my MAC 217, this is just literally going to be there to brighten a little bit, it's not going to make a massive difference. I'm just blend the two colours together, make it nicely diffused. Um, by the way, both colours are from Illamasqua, but again, just use whatever you have if you want to join me creating this look. There you go, I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be nice and subtle, but now we're gonna add a little bit of pizzazz to it. So I'm gonna use my Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Pigel, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the back of my hand. It's a really nice burgundy shade. I'm gonna take an angled brush, I'm using the Jessup 19, and we're gonna draw a little flick. Okay, it's starting to dry out a bit, so I have to go back a few more times, but I can zoom you in at the end a little bit more to show you the finished look. Because I'm not sure how much you can see it at the moment. Alright, there we go. So I have a nice little burgundy flick going on on one end, so let me just 
you know, repeat the same process on the other eye. Okay, so that's it. Now we're gonna just throw on some base. I'm gonna speed you through that because there's nothing magical about that. And then we can finish off the eyes and the rest of my complexion. I can just show you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis that I think is, you know, school appropriate and no professors can frown on me because, yeah, I think it's just appropriate for a witch. So let's go with that. Let's go on. Let's carry on with that. <laughs> think I'm less washed out like this. So for the inner corner I just wanted to pop up gold because you know Gryffindor. So I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Magic Mini palette and I'm gonna use a, this a gold shade called Nubia and I'm gonna take it on a teeny tiny flat brush and blend some out in the inner corners of the eyes. I mean look at that. Wow. Can you see it? It's definitely blinding in real life. I think it's harder for you to see, but in real life, oh my god, it's amazing. I'm um, still trying to figure out the lighting situation in this place, so just bear with me, please. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning in the inner corners? I should use this more often, this shade. I don't give this enough credit. Wow. Gryffindor vibes are definitely happening at this point. Look at that. Mm, I love it. To finish off the eyes, I wanted to use my burgundy mascara as well, which is the Kevin Aquan Expert Mascara in the shade Blood Roses. So I'm going to apply a few generous coats of this. I mean, you can see it there as well when you open it, the color. Mm, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we finish the complexion and the lips, of course. No witchy look is complete without the lips. Now this is true magic. Even a burgundy mascara can make a, such a difference. Look at that. <sighs> and sometimes people question why we love makeup. Because it's pure magic. That's why. For a complexion, I wanted something a bronzy but glowy. So first we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Cinnamon, and it's with an S, not with a C. And I wonder if I want to go in straight with this. I don't think so. Because sometimes if you go in straight from this, it can be a bit hard to blend out. So what I might do, I might get a generous amount on this brush. And just brush it on the cheeks. Does this work? Mm, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, let me go in a bit and see if it blends out. Yep, I think this will work as long as we go one side at a time. A bit on my temples. So when witches like to be tend, didn't you know? Well, this witch does anyway. Yeah, that's nice. Now you can see the difference between the two sides. So we're gonna just repeat. And you can see it leaves a nice little glow to the skin as a well. So gotta love that. But, oh no, I got a little bit. I smushed the top of it. Great job, Sandra. Great job. But now we're gonna go in with the pure Mineral Glow, this is the 030 colour and I'm going to use the same brush since the Fenty is a drier formula and I don't need a lot of this actually, no, you know what? I'm going to go in with a slightly fluffier brush, this is just an old Japanese brush if I remember well and this is quite good when you don't want to pick up a lot of products because it's really fluffy and it doesn't pick up too much 
So I can just go in and blend, blend, blend. And I don't necessarily want to contour, but usually I like to bring down a bit of bronzer on my neck as well because I'm really pale and this just, you know, matches it together a bit more. So it's not just like tanned face and then pale neck. And I feel like I went a bit overboard, so I'm gonna go back in with the brush with nothing on it and give it a bit more blending. Yep, that's better. I'm also gonna go back and apply a little bit just on the bridge of my nose where it's a bit crooked. So it just helps to hide that fact a little bit. A sip of tea and then we can carry on. Perfect. For highlighter we're going to go with the Becca Champagne Pop. I'm going to use the same Real Techniques brush as for the Fenty Matchstick. And blend it. Just goes really nicely with the bronzer. Oh yeah. Get Cupid's bow. Bit over my brows. And then I'm going to take small brush as well. It's my usual Sigma E47 and I'm gonna go in with a little bit on the brow bone like so and then I think we're gonna set it all with a setting spray. I'm gonna use my Revolution Glass Glow Fix Ultimate Glow Dewy Fixing Spray. Now for lips, I have two options. One of them is a, the Boutique Moisturising Lipstick in a, the shade Mocha. So this is just for the nice neutral days. So this is just for the days when you want to sit in the back row and you don't want any of the professors to spot you and you just want to blend in. And that's for those days, but for the days when you want a bit more possessed, when you want to every visit in which to know that you're there, that's when you go for this. Because what's more witchy than a grey black lipstick? So let me take this off and we're gonna apply the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick, or I think it, I think it's liquid lipstick, and it's in the shade Stone Fox. So let's get a mirror up because you need a bit more precision for this puppy. And poof, there you go. The ultimate witchy Gryffindor look for a day at Hogwarts. Because, you know, they say that one of the traits of a Gryffindor is being courageous and daring. So, is it just me or is a black lipstick the ultimate daring, even though it makes your teeth look hella, hella yellow? But it still looks really good and I'm. Um, I'm feeling it, especially now that it's drying down. I'm like, mm, I could rock this the whole day. And you know, you have the scarlet and the gold eyes and just nice bronzy, glowy skin and fresh hair. So this is what my makeup looks like on a typical day at Hogwarts. And well, it's just my morning really. And then, you know, now I sort of have to go to class. So. That's it. Let me know what you think of this look. And again, please check out Christine's channel. It will be all left in the description box. If you like beauty content and ASMR, you're gonna love her channel. It's gonna be right up your street. I really enjoy her videos and she's just such a nice bubbly personality. So please definitely go and check out her channel. But for now, I'm gonna go. I post videos three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I have the occasional Saturday videos as well. So I really hope that you can consider subscribing. And if you like this video, just, you know, smash that like button. And I hope to see you in my Wednesday video. Bye-bye.